What's going on, y'all? Hmm. I had to drink this tea. Listen, y'all, I'm trying to get this out the way because I really don't feel like doing more than one video on Friday. Okay, I got two to do tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and knock this one out because some of the news is pressing. Because, baby, it's you. You're the one I want. Let me tell you something. We'll get to that hoe in a second. Um, Love on top times, too. Bitch, fuck around. So... I just really wanted to get on here and get some of this stuff out because it's really not much. And I'm pretty sure, depending on what happened just now, you know, ain't nothing else going to be coming out that we care about. Um, okay, pause. Kalani came out. Is that how you say her name? Kalani? She came out with a new album. I haven't listened to it yet, but I would like you guys to let me know if it's worth the listen. I did like her little mixtape. I mean, it was cool for what it was. So, you know, let me know. Um, and I'll give it a listen, um, put down some other music I've been searching for, you know, we've been in a new edition type, uh, move for a minute, but I still need some new music to put on my iPod, uh, well, my phone, I should say, damn, that sounds so, when you say iPod now, it sounds so fucking prehistoric because everybody put their shit on their phone. I was one of the ones who walked around with an iPod and an iPhone, you know, cause I want to save with my storage. All right. Okay. Because y'all know back then, they always pop up and still do now. Storage is almost full. Bitch, leave me alone, okay? Leave me alone. But moving on, let's get this ignorance out the way. Um, Unfortunately, I just want to start the video off with the bullshit so we can get into some fun stuff later. Okay, Trump. Trump, 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 Trump. I am so tired. Like, I didn't even want to... I know I said I was not going to discuss Trump on this channel, okay? But he makes it so that you cannot just sit back and not say nothing about the things that he has been doing. The policies and executive orders that he has implemented. And it's just, it's, it's, it's becoming very draining and irritating because I would like for once, you know, I don't like Trump. But I'm not going to sit here and say I hate this man because I hate no one. But... The fact of the matter is, I would like for once, for once to get some good news coming from this person, okay? It irritates me that I have to come on here, and I'm pretty sure it does for a lot of other people, and we have to talk about the fuck shit that he done done, okay? And to me, like I said in another video, it seems as if he is really trying to be like, well, make it a point that he's going to fulfill everything that he said on his campaign trail, all right? And case in point... This past Saturday, this past weekend, um, he put in effect the uh, Muslim ban, okay? You know, he wanted to say that it's not a ban, it's not a Muslim ban, that's not what we're going to call it. It's not against Muslim, it's not against religion and all this stuff, but it is because Rudy Giuliani got on uh, fucking TV and spilt all the, ban um, the beans and everything. How you going to do this and round up all these people, stop these immigrants and refugees coming in? We're not going to call it, that's going to make it legal, okay? It was a Muslim ban, okay? So that's what it was. And you're literally trying to prevent a group, a religion, a faith, of people from coming into this country. And I understand at this moment in time that <clears throat> given a whole bunch of stuff that's been happening, you know, terrorist attacks and things of that such, and everybody is heightened, okay? It, I just got through literally looking at this documentary on, if y'all got Viceland, watch the, um, the, the, the series that they have on there called Noisy. Last week they had an um, episode on about Paris and the way that they um, treat the immigrants, the refugees, and especially people who are of the Islamic faith, okay? And it is so reminiscent, so reminiscent to what just happened here in this country on Saturday, you know? Um, they basically have different neighborhoods that they got heavily policed at where there is heavy, a whole bunch of, um, immigrants there or refugees. They don't want refugees there. They don't want more immigrants coming in. There literally is a party that is out there that is targeted and solely about, you know, getting immigrants out, stopping the refugees from coming because they're the ones that's destroying the city. They're a hotbed of, you know, um, terrorist activity that might pop up. They're making the people paranoid and people are following them. They have like a huge standing. Okay. And 
the police is heavy. The way that the police racial profile out here, it is so much worse over there in Paris. And I'm just sitting here like, wow. Okay. They're so blatant with it. They're so blatant with their Islamophobia and xenophobia is just so crazy okay and then to see this that happened um with the trump thing ugh, muslim ban you had people at the airport waiting to see loved ones only to hear that the planes have either been turned around after over 18 hours of flying to see people that they have not seen in so many years to be reunited with children, to, you know, just hug their loved ones who went through the proper channels, okay, who waited already years, if not longer, to get approved to come over, to go through the legal steps, the correct steps to come over to our country, okay? This is supposed to be the land of the free and ain't shit free over here, okay? Um... And to have all this happen and then for a group to come in and then they, them to be detained, okay? And it's just ridiculous. It is beyond ridiculous. And I'm just, I'm, I was embarrassed. I was a little ashamed. Like, I understand that, you know, we're working off of fear. And this is exactly what Trump has ran his campaign off. He is instilling fear in the country, and he's been instilling fear in this country mm-hmm. since the campaign started, okay? And he is going to continue to do so with this ban and everything. This is not making the country better. It's making it worse in the sense that you are plotting ideas in other people's heads that are already here that, hey, you turned these people around. I see how you treat people now. Well, now this is going to make me want to do this and do that. People don't think about shit like that obviously his administration don't think about stuff like that okay you want to get rid of and do heavy vetting i have no problem with that you know if you can stop something for coming but just do it legally and humanely in the correct way bitch is my face getting fat oh my god i've been sick you know but anyway moving on from that it's always been that it's just that when my hair is down low it just brings it out a lot. Anyway, fuck that. But, um, yeah, like, people literally waiting in the airport for their family. You have people who are immigrants who are now working here and they're paying taxes. And they can't even see their family, okay? And you doing this to them. You know, all these videos of people just, you know, waiting for the contractor that was waiting for his brother, his brother... You know, he got, I'm out here building houses for y'all, and I've been a citizen for over 20 years, and I can't even see my brother. They turned him away, and he is crying. That shit hurt my heart, okay? Then you have the two sisters who was waiting on their mother, who they haven't seen in 21 years, okay? And they telling them that the flight either been held. They was there since 8 o'clock, and it took 11 hours before they could actually see their mother. You know, children not being able to, like, Young children are not being able to see their parents and stuff like that. It, it was it was it was sad and ridiculous, and he just don't understand that this is not a good thing. You know, people. I am so proud of the American people who got out there and um, protested. Okay, and for people like Sage Steele, you're gonna get in your feelings, and 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 whoever else talking about some oh this protesting and stuff is an inconvenience. People trying to you know get to their flights, and oh they can't make it there, so I have to walk all the way over here, and I feel for the old people and all this stuff. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Okay, that's what protesting do. Protesting, you disrupt stuff. Protesting, you peacefully get your stuff out. All right. So what? And and then I had to look her up because I never heard anything about her because I don't watch sports like that. I don't watch ESPN. Um, so she's a news anchor or whatever on ESPN, and also she's biracial, and also she is married to a white man, and she is a Republican bitch. And I'm just sitting here like, so this is why. And that's why I couldn't even really get 100% upset as much as I would like to. But I was like, your whole pedigree just explains the reason why you think the way that you think. You really think that this is okay. And the whole thing out of all this whole thing that just happened, you're most concerned about um, getting to your flight on time or your service being disrupted, bitch, shut the fuck up and have some goddamn compassion, okay? Have some fucking compassion, all right? Um, 
You mean to tell me your legs weren't working that you couldn't walk from your car all the way over there? Is it really that big? Of you 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 small enough? Now I can see if you was a big bitch like me complaining, but bitch, I wouldn't complain either. Like, come on, come on, stop that. That that was just ir- irritating and irritants. Okay, in consideration of all my bullshit, bitch, get the fuck out of here. Anyway, it 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 was just ridiculous. Like. <sighs> Once again, I understand the vetting process, you know, you trying not to bring certain stuff into the country. But the fact of the matter is this world is very, very imperfect. We are not perfect. Nothing will be perfect. There will not be a perfect system to stop any or everything coming into this country. Okay. Or any country for that matter. You can put stuff up that may halt a little bit and may, you know, filter out some people and some people still going to slip through. Okay. But going about it the way that he went about it, you don't understand that you are probably, you can't get rid of, I know you're trying to stop people from coming in, but what about the people that are already here? And then you sitting here, they probably was laying dormant and just waiting for a chance to, a reason, okay? And you are giving them a reason to fucking be like, you know, this motherfucker don't give a shit. This is why we can't stay in America right now. It's time to squad the fuck up. They are already recruiting. You know that shit. They have been doing that, okay? Through online stuff, through gaming, through this, through that. That's how they get them, okay? Most of the people in all the attacks that happened after 9-11, that shit was homegrown, okay? People that were either born here from a different descent or they were still born here, they were Christians. They was all this other stuff. Not immigrants, not refugees coming in, okay? You know, you, 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 it, and it affects everybody. My mother, she works with um, the American College of Surgeon, okay? She uh, helped doctors all over the world get uh, approved for fellowship, okay? And she works in the international division. She comes across um, doctors who have to come over here to America to get to graduate, to get their fellowship. Okay, they're paying their money. They have to get a visa. They're doing all this stuff, and now their their process and their job and stuff and whatever is in jeopardy because they don't know if they can come through the country or whatever because of this damn ban because she do work with people from iran you know um they just got some of the countries that they banned they just got a couple of them from them i was just like wow this is fucked up and you know like have some respect for the immigrants this 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 is what i just don't understand this country is built on immigrants this country is built on immigrants. Trump, your wives are immigrants, okay? You are an immigrant. Your father, your grandfather, and his father before that are immigrants. They were not born here. They were brought, they came here, okay? And then established roots here, okay? You may have been born here, but your great-grandfather, grandfather, they, he wasn't born here, all right? Come on. Ain't nobody thinking them as, like, come on. This whole country, the only people... Native Americans, all right, they're the people that was here. White people came and took the land, and y'all brought us over here too. So this whole country is founded on immigrants, and like again, I understand we're trying to not let a certain element in, but Jesus Christ, go about it a right way, not just, it, it, it's just, it's just irritating. And then for the Syrian couple, family that was out there in Philadelphia, you got people online, no, the part that's kicking me, <laughs> that makes me chuckle out the whole thing is, you know, you have some people who voted for Trump getting pissed off because some of their people, um, getting deported, okay, or can't come here, and then you have the couple, uh, the family over there in Philadelphia who voted for Trump, and their Syrian relatives then gave up everything that they had because they sure enough thought they was going to be able to come over here and they was turned right around, okay? Couldn't even get a hello, goodbye, I miss you, nothing. No, 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 no. They came and went right back. I said, ain't that a bitch? Now you upset and you in your feelings and you want me to feel sorry for you? You voted for this man and this man literally said that this is what he was going to do. Y'all thought he was playing, okay? We should put all that. I thought he was playing and joking and wasn't going to do no shit like that. no. We thought he was playing and joking when he said he was going to run for president and look what happened. Okay. So now we just got to look at shit and be like, this motherfucker really going to do it. All right. Take his word for his word for right now, because the motherfucker is really trying to go through and do everything that he said he was going to do on his campaign trail. 
um, and this band, the, the wall shit too, like, come on, you, you, it's just stupid, it, it's stupid, yeah, you want stronger borders, but once again, that's not gonna stop people from coming over here, if you're trying to put a border against, um, to separate America from Mexico and Mexicans from legal illegally coming in, what you're going to do about the ones who come from different countries all over the world who illegally come into the United States of America too. I mean, damn it, bitch. If you can do that, then that means you can stop the illegal flow of drugs that come in. And you can't do that because it's been going on forever and it's going to keep on going forever. The motherfuckers building tunnels and all this stuff. The motherfuckers probably got submarines now. Okay. They going to find a fucking way to get in if they really want to. Okay. It, it, it's just the way he going about it, the way he going about it, you know, it, it was just disgusting. And then Uber, you know, the CEO of Uber, see, this is what people getting fucked up at, you know, because I looked at a couple of videos who was talking about this stuff and, you know, they was like, why get mad at Uber and all this? And okay, Uber, the cab driver said for a damn near hour, they're going to stop, you know, um, um, picking up people at the airport, okay, during this time. Uber took it upon themselves to, hey, since they're going to slack off, let me pick up that slack. And then that's not really why people was pissed off. People was pissed off because the CEO himself is a Trump supporter, okay? He is on his team for something, all right? And that's why the delete Uber shit came about, okay? Lyft came out and said, we don't agree with this shit. We're going to go ahead and donate a million dollars over four years to the ACLU to help, um, you know, combat this stuff and, and all that shit. Um, so that's where it came from. Cause it's in, he supports and that's what it is. And then, you know, you try to backtrack because people were saying they're deleting that stuff and you was getting a whole bunch of people deleting the stuff. And now you want to say, oh, we're going to donate this and we're going to donate that. But then you take that back. You also come out and say, well, if you're going to get fucking mad at me, you might as well get mad at Disney. Um, the, 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 the head of Disney, this person at Disney, um, this person at Tulsa, Tulsa, whatever. What is it? Tulsa, the car, whatever the fuck. Um, Pepsi. The head of this person, the CEO at this company, the CEO at GE, the CEO at this, they also on the same um campaign uh, uh uh committee or whatever. They support Trump too, and I was like, that's fucking fine. Thank you for um being a shady ass bitch and snitching like that because I don't fuck with Pepsi no more. I don't drink pop, okay. I don't um and. I looked at the shit that's under the PepsiCo umbrella. I don't fuck with none of that, so that affects me none. Do I plan on going to Disney World? I went to Disney World one time when I was 10 years old, and I didn't see the hype about it, okay? Do I plan on going back? Never wanted to. Will never, okay? GE, do I got some GE products? Most likely probably not because I'm too cheap for that shit, okay? It is what it is. I don't. I can't afford a Telsa or whatever the fuck it is, a car, whatever that shit is. Bitch, I don't care. And if you want to support it, support it. I'm not going to get mad at you. You know, you should not be pressured to take your support away or stop using stuff just because other people are the majority or, you know, this, this trend is going on right now. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to use it. But I'm just saying it just really don't affect me because I don't use the products anyway. So, you know, it is what it is. That's what people were getting pissed off. And then here comes Tina Campbell coming out with her open letter to uh, Trump. Also, let's clear this up. I would like people before you start, you know, we start talking about stuff to actually read the stuff. Yes, Tina Campbell in that letter said we should pray for Trump, which is true. Okay. In the Bible, we should pray for everybody. That is fine. Nobody had a problem with that. The problem that people had is if you read that long-ass motherfucking letter, which I did, she said she was going to lend her support to Trump. She supports this man. And a whole bunch of stuff in there that she was saying was she's going to stay by him, okay? That's what she was saying. And that's what we not clicking with. Like, for real, you're going to stand by someone. I can understand you trying to follow God's law and everything, but... Come on now, I cannot support and say I'm going to stand by somebody who is literally banding and breaking up families, okay? I cannot support somebody who is out here putting out hate, putting out fear, okay? I cannot do shit like that. But this is a person, you know, that she 
took her husband back after all the bullshit that he did to her. And I can never do no shit like that. So, you know, in a sense, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. But Tina, just shut the fuck up on that one, okay? You could have kept that shit to yourself. But that's your opinion, you know. I guess you wanted to get in. I guess you didn't care what happened to Chrisette Michelle. So, hey, you do what you do. You bold for that one. So, more power to you. Just wouldn't be me. Um, Amarosa. Bitch, I didn't read the whole fucking letter that Janet Huber came, Auntie Vib, Aunt Vib, the original black Aunt Vib came out, and all I saw was nigga Rosa, and that was it. I couldn't even finish reading it. Bitch, she said, <laughs> you got on a view and acting a motherfucking ass and was being so goddamn disrespectful, bitch. You know what? See, they banned me from the view a few years ago because of their allegiance with the Smiths and stuff like that. But, bitch, you better be glad Whoop Whoopi wasn't on that show that day because Whoopi would have read your ass to pieces. And I said, bitch, you damn right. I seen the clip where Amarosa was trying to say, you know, all these people had so much to say about Donald Trump. But now look at them. And all those same naysayers and all this stuff, you have to bow down to him. That's the ultimate victory. Okay. And I'm sitting here like, you really said this shit? I ain't bound down to no motherfucking body, first of all. Only but my Lord, Savior, Jehovah God, and his son, Jesus Christ. That's who the fuck I, I go to, okay? But you know what? For you to say some bow down into D so, uh, And then she says she's, uh, her boyfriend slash fiance is a Democrat, and he just sitting there in the audience cheesing like, yeah, yeah. I said, bitch, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Mm-mm. Ain't no way in hell I could do that shit. Not not with a bitch like her. And I'm like, you his prize nigga. That's what you are. You are his prize nigga. And you just, I don't know. Amarosa, I've been over Amarosa. When I first heard of Amarosa, I was never a fan of hers, okay? And then you want to bitch and cry about how you losing fans and all that stuff. Or, or, or family don't talk to you. Bitch, you brought it on yourself, okay? I mean, you can be a Republican. I have no problem with a black person being a Republican. But... When you come out saying ignorance like this, that's where I have a problem with. And that's why I X you off. But moving on from there, let's get to some. Okay. Before we get to some exciting news that I want to talk about. The white lady, Emmett Till. I meant to put this in there when I found it yesterday. Not yesterday, but last week for my what it is. And I had remembered as soon as I uploaded the video. But it was a Vanity Fair article that came out by this guy who was doing the book. Um, and he had found like a cup 10 years ago or some shit like that. The lady who, um, involved in the Emmett Till case. Now, if you don't know who Emmett Till was, Emmett Till was a 14 year old boy from out here in Chicago. I think he was down in Mississippi or whatever in 1955. And he went missing all of a sudden. They found him, um, in the water, strapped to a barrel or something, brutally beaten. And then he was hung. Okay. They brutalized him and, and killed him. Okay, by white men. And um all because this white woman said that he whistled at her and was taking saying suggestive, sexually suggestive things that she was not here for and basically caused him to get, you know, killed. Okay. This is nineteen fifty five at the height of segregation and down in the south they don't play that shit. All right. Then all of a sudden, this man was doing this book and talking to her, found her, um, want to give her anonymity or the family anonymity so nobody can find them or whatever. She's been living in the shadows and all this stuff. And she comes out and say that she basically lied. We knew it, but to hear it confirmed from her after all these years, she's still alive, 80 something, probably 90, 80 something. Something like that. She, she's old as fuck. Okay. But you mean to tell me you couldn't come out and you couldn't tell Emmett Till mama that? I think Emmett Till mama died in 2003. Okay. And you couldn't come out and say something before that? I, that lady went to her deathbed. That lady went to her grave knowing that her son was killed over racism. And then over a fucking lie. That shit, you know, I have no sympathy for her or her family. Whatever happens, fucking happen, because you deserve it. That was just straight wrong and bullshit. Moving on from that. 
on to some more good news, okay? Viola, congrats to Viola, uh, Marshala, is that how you say it? Marshala Ali, Taraji P. Henson, the whole cast of Hidden Figures, um, Janelle Monet, Octavia Spencer, um, and everybody else who was at the SAG Awards, and they won something. I'm so glad, okay? This Oscar season is looking like it's going to be pretty good, and I hope we come out with some of our black people on top, for real. They deserve. They fucking deserve, okay? Um, Jocelyn was on The Real last week. Okay, people got all up in their feelings. Ah, oh, this is what they doing. This is what they doing. So they going to um, put her on the real what? Okay, bitch. Y'all getting y'all feelings for a whole bunch of shit for no reason. She was on the real hosting for like two a whole week. Okay, this week is candy week. Um, And I must say, I was a little concerned about Jocelyn being on there because y'all know Jocelyn ain't got no filter. She messy. But bitch, she fit right in and she kind of livened up the whole cast. The only person that probably had a problem with it was Tamara because Tamara just wasn't used to all of that bluntness, okay? I mean, on the first episode that she was there last Monday, Jocelyn basically said she would run a train on the whole cast. And she said, Tamara, you know, bitch, I had a, I been had a crush on you. You know, you could come in my bedroom anytime. I said, well, good goddamn Jocelyn. Bitch, she was hilarious. And I liked her on there, okay? You know, she was giving the viewpoint. It felt like the view a little bit because it wasn't everybody agreeing with everything. Like, they talked about the Paris Jackson thing, and she came up there, and she gave her viewpoint, which was totally different from everybody else. And I was like, see, all right, this is something that you need. Then next week, we have Candy on there. And from the few episodes that I've seen with different co-hosts on there, um, Candy is actually one of the best ones because she's actually engaging and she's talking about subjects and bringing up subjects. And I mean, she's really talking about them and not just sitting back being quiet and all this stuff. Cause I remember when I seen the episode where, uh, Angela Simmons was on there, she was just quiet and she was just lame. I'm just like, girl, you, this ain't your forte. Okay. Um, so, you know, shouts out to them. Um, I don't know if they trying to come up with some new co-hosts or whatever, girl. Don't nobody care. Congratulations, Missy Aliad. She came out with a new song. It's called I'm Better. Fuck the song, to be quite honest. The song is cute for what it was. But, you know, I it has to grow on me a little bit because it seems like it's a little bit of the new shit, but it's so messy with it, okay? She rapping and she singing on the hook, but this bitch is giving you all five elements, okay, in this video, and it's so, the video is visually everything, and it's so fucking true to Missy, okay? Down to the, to the makeup, to the, the, the wear, the clothes, and, um to the visuals, everything. I mean, this bitch is dancing in water. Beyonce danced in an empty ass pool and she said, I'm a one up your ass. I'm a dance in the goddamn water. I mean, she literally wasn't really in the water, but she was in the fucking water. Okay. I was like, all right, you better do that shit, Missy. You know, I love me some Missy. I would love Missy from today and ever. Okay. Like forever in a fucking day. That is my bitch. Okay. Shout out to you. You did a fucking good job on that shit. Um, Speaking about Paris Jackson, she gave an interview on with Rolling Stone and she was just talking about, finally talking about her father, how she felt like, you know, she was murdered. He was murdered, um, but was saying, giving a little bit of insight of how it was growing up with him and saying he was just a regular dad and, you know, he cared so much about them and he loved to cook, cook soul food. The nigga could cook um, some sweet potato pies and shit like that. Said that he had a nasty ass mouth like the nigga cuss. And I said, ooh, that just made me feel so good. Because, you know, I cuss a lot. So now when I find out people that I like cuss, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like, okay, cook. <laughs> but um, one of the things I didn't know, she was sexually assaulted at one point. She talked about, a, um, and not about her father, okay? This was after he passed away. Um... She talked about being on drugs at a, she's only 18. Like she's literally only 18 and she's been through so much, you know, um, going to rehab, having tried to attempt suicide a couple of times, you know, um, and this is all because of the fact that her father passed away. She just was in a depressed mode, whatever. And one thing that really stood out was. Um, well, caused a little bit of controversy is the fact that she says that she, she identifies herself as being black. Now, the way that genetics makes up, we don't know 
whether or not it, it's been this whole debate since forever since some kids came into fruition that Michael Jackson might not be the, their biological father okay and to be quite honest it is possible for a black man and a white woman or a white uh, woman well a white man and a black woman to come together and have um children who literally look white as snow that is possible i mean go back to slavery times when that shit used to happen and that's what we come up with the term called passing dominant dreams um and, and uh, uh, uh dominant and recessive genes okay stuff like that it can happen look at tamara kids with her husband she nipped tamara even though she's biracial her son literally looks like a white boy okay that's what he looks like so it is possible to say that he could be biologically their uh his their father but it's also a big a bigger possibility that he's not okay we're not denying that but she's only saying that she identifies herself as black because that is what her father told her and she was like my father didn't lie to me so that's what i grew up saying that's what you grew up saying to me so that's what i'm going to identify myself with i don't feel any way about it because this is a child and this is what her father told her i mean if she want to look deeper she probably would come back with something else, but it's not a Rachel Dolezal situation. It's really not, okay? It's really not. Moving on from that. Fuck that shit. Um, What else is going on? Rihanna versus Azalea Banks, I don't give a shit, okay? Rihanna won. That's all I'm going to say. I don't fuck with Azalea Banks. I wish people would stop giving her, um... Bringing her up. See, look, bitch, I'm talking about her now, okay? Rihanna, y'all putting numbers out and shit. That's petty as fuck, but I it's to be expected. To be quite honest, the moral of the story, do not engage her. Rihanna, you should never engage her. That's the fuck the point it. But what I want to end this video with is saying happy thanks um happy Thanksgiving, bitch. Um, happy Black History Month to all my peoples. Okay. We here, all right, in this Black History Month. 365 for us fuck me okay but we got our own month right now and it's february 1st and a better way what better way to start this goddamn month off of black excellence black magic black greatness black power beautifulness okay every fucking tone every fucking hue bitch you're fucking beautiful i love you we love you okay if ain't nobody tell you that bitch i'm telling you that i say that all the goddamn time but no other way to start this shit off with with some good ass news from beyonce some shit that we probably already knew okay let me tell you something beyonce is a fucking troll beyonce watches people videos i'm pretty sure she didn't sing some of my shit because a few of us have said, and I know I've said this on plenty of cages, I want this bitch to go away when she get off this tour, okay? I don't want you to release nothing else. I want you to go away and get pregnant. And that's exactly what the fuck this bitch did. And I'm very happy about that. Go ahead, bitch. Go lay up. Go eat you some Cheetos. Go eat you all what you can because, you know, you're going to just sweat it off when the baby's coming. Stomach probably going to go back to flat, flat soon. You know, um, we found this out today. I was at work. I wasn't even on Twitter. Then when I finally come to my phone, I was like, oh, shit. So, Beyonce is pregnant. All right. You know, so the trip to Red Lobster was worth it. Um, Jay-Z is grinning somewhere saying, you know what they say about that curve, you know. Um, knocked that out the park twice, okay. Super sperm because they're pregnant with twins. All right. And like I said, Crimson Rose and Lilac Lavender, they going on the way. Okay, that's cool. Bitch, Beyonce probably gonna name them them kids like Dante and Keisha, bitch. She gonna throw us off again. I'm pretty sure she gonna throw us off again. She ain't gonna keep to this color scheme. Y'all, mark my word, okay? And the way that she announced it, she posted it on her Instagram. She has her stomach out, okay? And I'm pretty sure Beyonce is a shady bitch. She is petty and... She is trying to, you know, stop the shit before it starts. And what she said was, for all you naysayers who still want to believe that I did not deliver my babies or I did was not pregnant, even though in life is but a dream, you saw my full ass naked ass motherfucking stomach with blue ivy just swimming all up in me. Um, I'm going to invite you to my uterus. Okay. And here you go. Here's one and here's two. Two times over. I said, all right, come, congratulations. So ain't nobody... I don't want to hear nobody talking about, oh, 
um, well, now she's finally carrying her kids, and, you know, now she this, and girl, shut the fuck up. Don't put that shit in my comments, because you will get deleted, okay? We're not here for that bullshit. Can we congratulate? Okay. We got two more coming on. Um, it ain't doing shit for me, but I'm just glad that the kids ain't gonna be born on my birthday again, or in my birthday month. That shit was stressful. I was really mad about that. Like, how fucking dare you take the attention off of me? Like, you don't do no shit like that. But okay, you know, and then don't even give me no present or nothing. Like, I'm sorry, a sorry gift? Like, how fucking rude. But, um, you know, that's, that's fine. That's fine. And congratulations, you know, Rihanna posted it and, and congratulated her so y'all can stop with this. I please stop with this. Um, oh my God, I just wish these artists can do what they can and these stand groups can stop pitting them against each other because it ain't even that deep. They don't think the way that y'all think. They all cool and y'all just trying to make them enemies. That's just so fucked up. Okay. Um, everybody's congratulating. Okay. And that's cool. And, you know, she's breaking the internet at this time. And, um, now you girls and guys who want to come out with some records or whatever, this is your opportunity to do it because Beyonce is about to go on hiatus for maybe a year or so. And, hey. Maybe you'll sell a bit. Probably still flop, but you'll probably sell a little bit more than you originally was going to. I'm just saying, you know, to be quite honest, there is no excuse, okay? Beyonce is out the way. Um, Rihanna, are you putting out something? If she ain't putting out something, Rihanna is out the way, so you don't have to worry about them too. Rihanna, bitch, when you gonna get pregnant? Okay, Rihanna, I wanna babysit her kids, like, for real. Because we gonna, what kind of kids gonna come out the womb with a blunt, bitch? They gonna come out like, mama with my blunt. <sighs> I'm better. It ain't going to be no bottles. It's going to be blunt bitch. That's going to be a... But then again, Rihanna child probably going to be the complete opposite of her. But anyway, it's your turn. Um, Congratulations are in order to the Young Money crew. Okay? I see you guys are back together. Y'all working on some stuff. I see you, Lil Wayne, and Drake, and um, um, Nicki Minaj in the studio together. Bitch, and I told y'all, Nicki Minaj only stopped fucking with Drake. On appearances, like, start taking pictures and mentioning him for the sake of Meek Mill when she was with Meek Mills for his ego and all this stuff. Because she knew her man was losing that battle against Drake. Mm -hmm. And so, to spare him his feelings and make him feel like a man in that relationship, she stopped fucking with him. But as soon as they had dumped, Nikki went back over there to Drake. Okay, they cool again. So, all is good. <clears throat> all is good in Hollywood right about now. Okay, so, um, yeah, congratulations to the Carters. Um, congratulations to Young Money. You did that. And, um, congratulations to you guys. Happy Black History Month, okay? Go out there and go learn some black history, okay? And not just from the regulars that we already know. Go look and look up, um, some unsung heroes and things of that such that we don't talk about too much, okay? Go look up. Go do your research, all right? Um, anything else that I want to talk about? You know? No. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekends if you don't want to come back and watch the rest of these videos that I'm going to post today, tomorrow, and Friday. But if not, you know, enjoy your, uh, 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 what is it, Super Bowl weekend. I will be watching the halftime show, okay? Other than that, I don't give a fuck, okay? Shout out to you, Gaga. I hope you put on a bomb-ass show because, bitch, I have yet to go to one of your concerts because every time I was about to go to, they got canceled. Ain't that about a bitch? But we're not going to go there. Anyway, so I will see you guys later. Be good. Be fun. Peace.